So if you're a businessman and you're looking across the landscape to what is the one big thing you own, you're undoubtedly going to take notice that the biggest thing you own is Spider-Man. And if you're that businessman, you're going to be wondering about why the only thing you're developing with Spider-Man is a Spider-Man movie that is also being marketed by the rival studio. So it stands to reason that you're going to want some answers and the suits in your company are going to want some answers. So they're all going to come out and sit down and come up with some details and ideas for a future film series. Now obviously last week we talked about the Venom movie which was announced to get a release date on October 5th of 2018. And today we have the official word that Sony is in fact developing another spin-off film. This time it's going to be focusing on the Black Cat and Silver Sable. Respectively both of these are Spider-Man characters owned by Sony. Now Hollywood Reporter is also saying that Christopher Yost who is also responsible for the creation of X-23 who wrote Thor The Dark World is in fact actually going to be writing the script from this which he took on from Liz Joy who worked on the previous version of the script and the HBO series Westworld. Now what is interesting to know is that this is not the first time they're actually working on this as this film has been in development from around 2014 I want to say maybe a little bit before that and it was the long rumored Marvel slash Sony female lead up team up whatever the hell they were going to call that movie that should have actually been coming out towards the end of this year. Now obviously no other details have been announced. We don't know if it's going to tie into anything. Is it going to be a spin-off from the MCU? Is it going to be tied into the Venom movie? Nothing else has been confirmed. Nothing else other than they are working on it and they're looking to even possibly start shooting this year and announce a director soon. So I mean we're going to keep our eyes out obviously on it and see what the hell happens but the interesting thing is of course Spider-Man characters so once again why are you spinning Spider-Man characters off into films that don't feature Spider-Man and if they do what are we gonna have three different Spider-Man running around and an animated Miles Morales so this could get difficult and complex and it could be a giant mess but um, we're gonna wait and see what they decide to do um, obviously Black Hat's one of my favorite Marvel characters, so I really want to see her appear in live action, but I don't know if this is the right course to take, but we'll talk about that in later videos. You guys let me know your thoughts on this. Are you guys excited to see Black Hat and Silver Sable team up in a movie in about a year and a half?